During the funeral service of former CS of Education, George Magoha, two things took center stage. The first is the presence of former President Uhuru Kenyatta that could not go unnoticed, and the second is the absence of sitting President William Ruto in that particular funeral service. And in this video, I want us to look into why President William Ruto decided not to attend that funeral service and not to even send Rigadi Gashagwa to represent him. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. The first reason why the sitting president did not attend George Magoha's funeral is because a brood of vipers were waiting for him in that very funeral. In fact, had he gone, he would have gone through the very reenactment of what he went through while he was deputy president during the BBI meeting at the Bombers of Kenya, whereby we saw Millicent to the Ambo shouting at him, others heckling him and booing him. All that would have taken place once again. And when I say brood of vipers, I kid you not, his former boss, the one who did not want to see him ascend to power, despite him helping that very boss to reach that seat, was present. His competitor, who calls him illegitimate and is out and about forming groups like MMG with a plan of removing him from power, was also present. James Orengo, the senior counsel who went to the Supreme Court to argue that William Ruto is an illegitimate president and that Raila Odinga is the legitimate president, was also there. Even Rafael Tuju, who was the chief coordinator of the four dissenting commissioners, was there as the master of ceremony. So why on earth would William Ruto even go there? It makes no sense and he was better positioned to be elsewhere serving the country in whatever capacity was required of him at the time. Now the second reason why the president missed Magoha's funeral is that there was intelligence that a crowd had been hired in preparation to boo the president and the deputy president anytime they said anything on that very podium. And that same crowd was supposed to cheer Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta and everybody else. This was all designed and fashioned to be some form of revenge to DP Rigadi Gashagwa especially. And the reason behind that is what he did to the former president during their inauguration at Kasarani Stadium. He basically went there and exposed all the failures of Uhuru Kenyatta for the past 10 years. He talked about the millions of Kenyans in CRB, how there are no jobs, how the country is in deep debt. And then he even went a step further to say that he hopes President William Ruto will return the country to its glory days, which is back during the Mwai Kibaki days. He basically skipped that entire 10 year stint of President Uru Kenyatta and talked about Mwai Kibaki days, basically saying that Uru Kenyatta had wasted the country for an entire 10 years. And that is in front of other heads of state. So this was going to be the ultimate revenge. What the DP would have gone through what the president would have gone through would be something to marvel at. And the third reason why the president didn't show is because he had already sent the deputy president at Magoha's family home to pass his condolences and to stand with the family. And so anywhere the DP goes, the president does not have to do a follow-up visit. If the DP shows up, don't ever expect the president to also show up sooner or later. The deputy president goes where he has been sent by the sitting president. So because you saw DP Rigadi Gashago at the Magoha family home, passing his condolences, that is as good as President William Ruto showed up there because DP Rigadi Gashagwa deputizes the president and part of his job description is doing what the president asks him or requests him to do on his behalf. Then the fourth reason is that the president sent CS Eliu Dowalo to the very funeral to read his speech. So at least the president showed effort. It's not like he skipped the funeral, failed to send even a CS to go read his speech or something of the sort, no. He made sure he sent the CS of communication to go read his speech, go pass his condolences to the family, to Barbara Magoha and the others, and to basically stand with them. And we cannot even fault the president. If you listen to the things that Deepi Rigadi Gashagwa delivered to the family when he went to the family home, they really did a lot. Deepi Rigadi said they'll provide food, they'll provide tents. The government will help ferry the body around from point A to B to C because Magoha turns out he was a legend and, and there was a lot of places of interest where his body ought to have done a stopover as people view it and uh, before he goes on to be laid in the final burial ground. Now all in all, was it wise for the president to skip this funeral? The answer is yes. Simply because the funeral would have been highly politicized. He would have met a very hostile crowd in that particular funeral. And immediately after, today as we speak, he would have had very bad press 
in the media. But as usual guys, that's just my opinion, so please drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios, have a blessed Sunday. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.